Mountains of discarded tires stretch across large areas worldwide, forming long-term stockpiles that are difficult to remove and manage. These piles occupy abandoned lots, open fields, and unused industrial sites, growing steadily as more waste accumulates each year. What most people don't realize is that a single site can span acres and contain millions of tires. Their scale creates persistent environmental, logistical, and safety challenges for communities and regulators. Every year, billions of additional tires are added to this expanding waste stream. Formerly essential to transportation and industry, they now accumulate in massive dumps that increase fire risks, toxic runoff, and pest problems. Agencies consistently warn that these sites pose ongoing public health and environmental threats. In the foreground, one discarded tire may appear insignificant, worn, and forgotten. Many people overlook that each tire still carries a considerable amount of stored energy. Beneath its aged rubber lies a complex mixture of carbon, hydrogen, and fuel-rich material components that hold significant potential for resource recovery as new conversion technologies continue to advance. This is how the trapped energy within waste tires is broken down and remade into liquid fuel from start to finish. Before a tire ever becomes waste, it begins as a carefully engineered material designed for strength, endurance, and reliability. Tires are built from natural rubber, synthetic rubber, carbon black, steel, textiles, and chemical additives, each blended to withstand heat, friction, and the weight of entire vehicles. These components make tires incredibly durable, but also incredibly difficult to dispose of. Every year, the world produces over a billion new tires, and almost the same amount eventually becomes scrap. Once they reach the end of their life, they don't simply break down. Tires can take hundreds of years to decompose, occupying landfills, clogging storage yards, and creating environmental risks such as trapped methane gas, toxic runoff, and fire hazards that burn for days. But within these discarded rings is something valuable. Up to 50% of a tire's mass is oil-derived material, a stored energy resource that does not disappear just because the tire is worn out. Globally, millions of tons of scrap tires represent a massive untapped energy reserve. This is where transformation begins. Instead of allowing mountains of tires to accumulate, modern recycling technology is now extracting value from what was once considered pure waste. By converting old tires back into usable fuel, industries across the world are discovering a circular pathway, one that reduces pollution, saves resources, and recovers energy that would otherwise be lost. The journey from discarded tire to usable fuel begins long before any machine heats, cracks, or converts the material. It starts with collecting a massive, carefully coordinated system designed to gather millions of scrap tires from cities, junk shops, vehicle repair centers, and industrial fleets. Trucks arrive carrying loads of worn-out tires, punctured, bald, twisted, and forgotten. Once inside the recycling facility, the tires move into a structured intake and sorting process. Workers and automated systems inspect them for size, type, and condition. Passenger car tires, motorcycle tires, truck tires, and off-road industrial tires are grouped separately. This classification matters because each category contains different amounts of rubber, steel, and fiber, which affect how efficiently they can be processed later. Next comes primary preparation. Tires pass through powerful conveyors toward a series of mechanical systems. Large contaminants, mud, stones, metals, and debris are removed. Steel rims from unseparated tires are extracted using hydraulic machines. Clean, uniform batches ensure a safer and more consistent conversion process. After it is cleared, the tires move toward shredding, the key stage that transforms bulky, rigid rubber into manageable pieces. Giant rotary shredders tear each tire apart with serrated blades, reducing it into strips or chips. Depending on the facility, the rubber may undergo multiple shredding cycles until it reaches an optimal size for pyrolysis. Some operations also separate embedded steel wires and fibers at this stage, recovering metal that can be sold as scrap. By the end of collection and preparation, what was once a chaotic pile of discarded material becomes an organized stream of clean, uniform rubber pieces, precisely measured and ready for transformation. 
This technical groundwork ensures efficiency in the next stage, paving the way for the high temperature conversion that will unlock the energy within every tire. This is the moment the process shifts from simple preparation to true transformation. The shredded rubber, once part of a tire built for strength and endurance, now enters the heart of the facility, the pyrolysis reactor. Here, intense mechanical control and precise chemical reactions work together to unlock the hidden energy trapped inside every piece of rubber. The rubber chips are fed into airtight chambers, engineered to withstand extreme heat. Inside, massive rotating drums or fixed reactors begin to warm the material, gradually removing oxygen until the environment becomes fully oxygen-free. This is crucial. Without oxygen, the rubber cannot burn. Instead, it breaks down on a molecular level. As temperatures rise to 400 to 500 degrees Celsius, the rubber softens, melts, and eventually vaporizes. Long hydrocarbon chains inside the tire begin to crack apart, releasing gases and vaporized oils. The transformation is invisible from the outside, but inside the reactor, a chemical storm is unfolding, one controlled by sensors, pressure regulators, and carefully calculated heating cycles. The vaporized compounds travel through insulated pipes into cooling and condensation systems, where they turn into liquid fuel. What emerges is crude tire pyrolysis oil, a dark, energy-rich product with multiple industrial applications. Lighter fractions condense into diesel-like fluid, while heavier molecules settle into thicker oil suitable for heating or further refinement. The process doesn't stop there. The gases that remain, those too light to condense, are captured and recycled as a self-sustaining energy source, powering the reactor itself and reducing external fuel consumption. Meanwhile, carbon black residue and recovered steel are expelled from the system, ready for secondary processing and reuse. By the end of this stage, the once solid tire has been completely reshaped at its molecular core. It has shifted from waste to resource, from rubber to fuel. The power behind the machinery and the precision of the chemical reactions unleash a new form of energy that has always been there, waiting to be released. Once the initial transformation is complete, the newly recovered materials enter a second stage, one focused on precision, purification, and reshaping. This is where raw pyrolysis output becomes usable, standardized, and valuable. The crude tire oil first flows into a multi-stage filtration system, where fine carbon particles, residues, and impurities are removed. High-pressure filters, mesh screens, and sediment traps work together to clarify the oil, preparing it for further processing. From here, the oil enters fractional distillation units, tall steel towers heated in carefully controlled layers. These towers separate the oil into distinct categories based on their boiling points, light oil, diesel-like fractions, heavy industrial fuel, and occasionally naphtha range components. Each fraction is cooled, collected, and stored in insulated tanks, now transformed from a dark, unrefined mix into clean, consistent fuel products ready for real-world applications. Meanwhile, the carbon black residue, another major byproduct of tire pyrolysis, is processed through grinding and micronizing machines. These systems break down the material into uniform powder, improving texture and quality, Magnetic separators pull out any remaining metal fragments, ensuring purity. The final carbon black can be reformed into pellets, packaged as fine powder, or blended for use in plastics, inks, and reinforcing agents for new rubber products. Recovered steel, stripped during earlier stages, undergoes cleaning and compression. Hydraulic presses shape the metal into dense briquettes, making it easier to transport and recycle in steel mills. Throughout this entire refinement phase, Every system is monitored by digital sensors, temperature controls, and automated safety checks. Operators track data in real time, adjusting heat levels, flow rates, and pressure settings to maintain consistent output. The chaotic nature of waste tires becomes balanced through careful engineering, every step calculated, every variable controlled. What began as discarded scrap is now refined, organized, and purposeful, fully prepared for the world beyond the facility. 
Before any recycled product leaves the facility, it must prove its worth. This is where precision meets responsibility, where the results of transformation are tested, measured, and validated for the world beyond the factory walls. Every batch of recovered fuel is sampled and analyzed in on-site laboratories. Technicians check viscosity, flashpoint, density, and purity to ensure the oil meets strict industry requirements. Advanced spectrometers scan for chemical consistency, confirming that the fuel is safe, stable, and ready for real-world engines, boilers, or industrial burners. Only once it passes all standards is it cleared for distribution. The refined carbon black undergoes its own evaluation. Labs test particle size, fineness, tint strength, and absorption properties. These measurements determine whether the material is suitable for plastics, pigments, insulation, construction mixes, or new rubber blends. What once coated the inside of a tire now becomes a core ingredient in dozens of modern products. Even the reclaimed steel is inspected for cleanliness and structural integrity. After compression into briquettes, it is weighed, sorted, and tagged, ready to be sent off to steel mills where it will be melted and reforged into beams, tools, appliances, or machinery. At this stage, everything that was once deemed waste now has a clear and measurable purpose. Beyond the technical achievements lies something bigger, impact. Each tire transformed into fuel reduces the burden on landfills. Each batch of carbon black reduces the need for newly mined materials. Each piece of recovered steel returns to the cycle instead of rusting in an open dump site. From rigorous testing to real-world application, the process proves one simple truth. Nothing is truly wasted. Everything can be transformed. What began as mountains of discarded tires, symbols of waste, pollution, and the limits of modern life has moved through an extraordinary journey. From forgotten rubber to reclaimed energy, from broken scraps to refined materials, from a problem to a possibility. Each drop of recovered oil fuels progress, each grain of carbon black becomes part of something new, and each piece of reclaimed steel finds purpose again together. These materials turn every recycled tire into a small victory for the planet, a step toward a world that wastes less and understands more. From start to finish, this journey proves that what we often view as useless can, in the right hands, become powerful once more. An old tire is more than waste. It contains recoverable energy and usable material that can be converted into new industrial resources. Through controlled processing and refinement, discarded rubber becomes a valuable input for fuel production, manufacturing, and other applications. What was once scrap is reprocessed, purified, and repurposed into products that support modern industries. This is the complete transformation of recycled tire oil and reclaimed materials, tracked from their origins to their final form, from start to finish.